that is my hope with it is that it that whoever is looking at it and whatever trail they're going through that they will feel hope Welcome to the Inspirational Art Association podcast, a place where artists from around the world share what inspires them with Cindy Lattimore, an art curator and promoter who brings with her 13 years of experience. Settle in, get comfortable, and enjoy the behind the scenes exchange with not only world-class artists, but up and coming talent as well. Welcome to this episode of Inspirational Art Association podcast. And today we have Sam Newton. Hi, Sam. Hi, Cindy. Sam is new to the Inspirational Art Association Christmas Showcase this year. And just to tell you a little bit about Sam, hmm, better get my eyes here. Her work has been in the Work and Wonder General Conference Workbook, Salt Magazine, inside and on the back cover of the Hear Him book, and it sold for uh, quite a bit of money at the Mayloff Capsa High End Art Auction to raise funds for victims of domestic abuse. That's good for you. I think that's great going into an organization that, uh, oh, I don't think we can give enough to those organizations, but your artwork to go into that type of auction is uh, commendable. Thank you. It's a good experience. I bet. So, Sam, the piece that you're going to be uh, talking to us tonight about is uh, entitled With Mother. Would you like to tell us a little bit more about that? Sure. Um, so, With Mother is a piece I've been working on for, let's see, four years, actually. It's been through various stages of development. So, this is the fourth painting of With Mother. Um, and it's the one I feel happy with. Like I finally made it to where it feels good. And um, it's a piece that highlights a grieving mother um, with an angel child with her. And it's a really special piece. Um, for me, it has been a piece that has helped me to understand um, depression and the role of angels in my life and the role of my children in my life and helping me not only as a mother, you know, you're always giving, giving, giving to your children, but how important it is that how they have helped me. And, um, and so it's a really connective piece to me. And I think it'll connect with a lot of different people in regards to whatever challenges they face, especially if there's a child on the other side of the veil. Um, this piece has also been um, <clears throat> a, a piece that has unified my style. I've been working on creating a style that um, is a more contemporary stained glass feel, uh, a tender place between a contemporary stained glass feel and a classical soft edges. And I feel like this piece is, is getting closer to that goal. Um, so it feels special into me and at the show, I will have that with me. It'll be probably my, my highlight piece of the show this year. I'm anxious to see it. I love when our artist brings the different forms or different periods of art into one and tells, tells the story that you just uh, mentioned. I know from past experiences through the show, we have so many people that come with so many maybe not a fresh heartache, but a one that, you know, once your heart aches, it, uh, it may be getting healthier or better, but there's still things that will bring that heartache back up to surface. And it's nice to find art or visual something to help you ease that pain, uh, to take it. You know, sometimes words don't do it. Artwork can. Right. And that is my hope with it is that it, it that whoever is looking at it and whatever trail they're going through, that they will feel hope. That's the goal for me. Yes, definitely. So will you have other pieces that kind of complement that? Or is it just one to stand on by its own as people come through your exhibit to see your beautiful artwork? Um, it's, it will be kind of a little bit different than the others. I feel like it kind of broke that ground into the style I really want to have. Um, but there will be others that I've that I've been working on with that same goal in mind. But this is the one I'm the most 
proud of, I should say. <laughs> but yeah, everything that I'm bringing, um, well, actually there might be a few exceptions, but everything I'm bringing is a figurative work, either of our savior or angels or um, an emotional connective piece to this our spiritual type of piece. Um, there might be a couple landscapes, um, but I haven't decided for sure. Well, I look, I know it's going to be beautiful no matter what. So what made you decide to apply for this show? I just heard so much about it. And I heard that it has such a, that everyone that attends feels such a strong spirit there. That's the biggest thing that I heard is that the spirit is felt there and that it's been a wonderful experience. And that's what I'm all for. So I wanted to participate. Well, that is what is so nice about that. The show is exactly what you have said. And everybody that walks through those doors leave the doors not feeling the same way they did when they first came in. And it is such a wonderful feeling to experience that with them. So when you do come to the show this year, uh, it's four days. Of course, opening night is RSVP only, but December 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, uh, that Wednesday, excuse me, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday from 10 to 9, uh, anyone can come and visit with the artists. And that's what's nice is because they, you will be there with your artwork and be able to tell sweet stories like what you just shared with us about each piece of how you were inspired to come up with these um the information that you just shared and your own personal experience and then also see what it does to those that attend so i'm excited mm -hmm. to see that, that so would be wonderful yes and then um and then the networking you do with the other artist uh you know it cannot be replaced in the other venue that I know of. Plus, it's a nice way to start the, the holiday season out right with the right spirit. And a lot of people, this is tradition for them to come to this show. They always know it's the, the week right after Thanksgiving, and they love to start their Christmas holidays with the right spirit. So Sam, is there any questions you want to ask me before we end this podcast? Um, I don't think I have any questions. I'm just excited about it. and. Art is an irreplaceable part of myself and I can't let it go. So I'm excited to just to put it out there further and further with every opportunity I have and to meet more people and talk with them and feel connected through this experience. Well, I'm excited for you to have this wonderful opportunity and to um, put it up there on one of those that can't be replaced by any other experience. So, Sam, it was so good to get to talk with you, and I look forward to hanging out with you in a couple of weeks at the show and, and get to know you better, and I and, uh, appreciate you taking the time and get, letting the world know who Sam Newton is. <laughs>